Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to a brand new solo survival episode. God, the pump is real. I know we've been we've been doing quite a bit of solo recently. I want to do some trio or something next week. If you if that's what you want to see, let me know. Rust is looking incredible. I just can't wait to jump into this one. I've got a couple of ideas. I've got all the blueprints from carried over from last wipe that you guys would have seen if you've been around for a while on this channel. So we've got like C4 and Acres which we can pump up to which is going to be stunning. Let's get into it. I'm feeling good. I don't want to bore you guys with too much of the farming because obviously when we've got BPs and stuff I can sort of jump to having a base because it's so easy to get. So I'm going to do a little bit of a montage. We'll do some farming. We'll get a bow. We'll see if we can kill some guys. And I know what's... I want to try and aim for like a rocky base. I want to go for maybe somewhere around here would be great, a building a rock or something. Build up near so we've got this road and launch as a dude. So yeah guys, as always, as you always do, please leave a like to the start of the new series if you are hyped for this, because I know I am. You guys rock on the likes, so thank you so much for those. They really keep me motivated to keep this episodes just grinding, me rust playing and me editing. So it's all because of you and it's all for you, so thank you for that. So I haven't played for a, a couple of days now, so bit bit need to warm up a bit, but we should be good. Oh, I want that pig so bad. This guy's got farm though. I can smell it on him. If you attack me, pig, so help me God. Oh, I got him. What a shot. Stunning stuff. It's wipe day, I know, but it's wipe day. You've got to, you've got to do these things. And I see two pigs straight ahead of me. Yes. Campfire, a bone knife for this one, so we get the maximum looting from it. And we can sort of move on to try and make our base soon, because we've got a TC already, which is dope. That's another pig straight ahead as well. Sweet. We're gonna have so much low grade right now. It's just about getting cloth. That's gonna be the issue around here. We're gonna have to move a bit, but. That's going to be fine, and there's low grade out of these things to be had. Just last thing I want to do right now is die. Oh, that's some wood armor. Yep. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Alright, dude, so... Built myself a little bit of a shitty wood shack. Just because we need a little port of operations here. We've got ourselves the workbench down in the wall, in the rock, that I thought was pretty cool. Put the TC down. This is it. This is the grand total of everything we've got right now. I don't know if I'm going to get cold because I'm minus 11 here, but I'm like not in like a complete patch of snow, if you get what I mean, in one of these cool rock things. I don't know what we're going to do with this base yet. I'm really not. It's not looking too, too incredible. Why am I looking so weird? Just out to try and get some nodes now. Oh, that's a bear. I need to find some cloth though, because we have none. Actually, that's a lie, I've got ten. Once I've got some more metal frags cooked up, I can start I can just craft a few pickaxes and come out. Actually, that's probably a better way to do things. How many how many frags is it? I can even hook up some uh, white day raids. You guys always ask me why I make code locks. I don't make them because like I want to make them. I make them out of necessity. Like I hadn't got any wood at the time I made that, but I did have a hundred frags, so I made that instead. Oh, damn, I love wipe day farming, man. Honestly, it is so freaking fun. Plus, you guys told me to always live at launch site because you get so much loot, so many, so much scrap and stuff. So I've built here again, and God, I'm so glad. I do it every wipe now. I try, I go out of my way to make sure I build here. I see a, uh, it's a scientist, I think, down at that junk pile, actually. Yeah, I always go out of my way to build here now. It's, it's, hundred, it's the best way to do it as a solo player. You get so much shit. It's awesome. Gonna head this way towards the road because I want to try and get some rope and stuff so we can start making wood armor again. I haven't got any of that. There are loads of nodes around here and I have quite a nice area. I don't like living in the snow even though I've done it quite a lot recently. But there's so many nodes, look. There's loads down there and there's some sulfur ones and stuff and nice to launch. So this is going to be a good wipe. I can feel it already. Been 
shit. Bradley's going off. Good shit, okay. Nice, we've got a little bit of stuff now as well. Starting to rack up some components. Oh, Shuggy, he had a lot of cloth. I might take this home, you know. Flat out a space, so it's all about getting another chest down right now. Yeah, that's gonna be good. If we can make this as secure as possible, this like extra loot roomy bit here, one day I'll probably pick this out. Put a garage door in here as well when we've got loads of resources and stuff. And we're gonna be Gucci. I want a quick look at how I could work this base. Because I can't place one there, but I can place one there, which is. Mm, I, I'm struggling to place shit over here, which is annoying. Actually, I can place one there, which is weird. That'll be my main entrance. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not too many resources to block that side up. This side is going to be a bit of a bitch though. And I need to get grab some stone and let's just sort of stock that side up. See this base doesn't even need to be like impervious to raid. It just needs to look like it is if that makes hey. sense. Coming along. Things are coming along. I need to go and farm up a sugar ton more stuff though. Kind of used it all. So this I'm not quite sure. I kind of wanted to put chests here. Because I'm I'm like completely low on loot room where I am, but at the same time, I've got this cool upstairsy bit. So I might put chests in here, which is pretty cool. Make all this metal, and it'll be pretty hard to raid, right? I'll put a garage door on this, not a double metal door. I just haven't got any gears right now, and we'll do all that, which is pretty dope. Come out here, which is all exposed at the minute. I've got an upstairsy bit. I can't really get to that right now. And yeah, what I'm going to do here is build like a gangway walkway bit to a large furnace, which is pretty dope. And then the other way will be my, my main door. This is going to be door. This is going to be our main port of call, our main door. So I need to armor that up nice and good. And we're going to have to have some more extra like loot roomy stuff. I might destroy this so I can place an oil refinery there. That would be pretty cool. But right now, we need to go and farm because I'm going to need to cook up uh, so much metal to metal this whole base up. Because I don't want to get raided again. If you saw like last week's wipe, I got raided twice on video, in videos, which like I recorded a video off of the back of and then a third time which I just thought fuck it I'm out <laughs> that's enough for me today um, so I don't want to get raided this week if I can make this look like it's an absolute beast of a base which it will it's gonna be incredible then we should be good I think I missed the first shot with an mp5 like what okay gracious death we always look well in the eyes of defeat so i've got to try and build up a little bit of this juicy goodness so this is fine i can just put a door on that and we're fine from that exit for now there's a couple of gaps but no one will come in this side i need to seal up somehow but hot damn it's gonna need to go pretty high all right dudes we're pretty much there for what I feel comfortable turning off for the night. So we've got this area in here, which you guys have seen, but pretty, pretty, pretty cool up here. We've got like a secret little bunker type, not really bunker, but nice little secret little loot room. I can't, I fucked it so I can't put a door over this, which isn't too, too big of an issue, because I mean it's got this and this will be a garage door. And then I'll put some more boxes here and here and it'll be pretty cool. I'm quite excited for that, that's, that's quite nice, because that's like the grand extent of my loot room area. And you come out here. And we've got this sort of open area. I don't want to upgrade these because I kind of want to put a refinery here when we can get a level 2 bench. We're quite a way off that yet though. Here's uh, the Great Wall of Stone. Come through here, drop down, pop down here and then that's the front door. So I need to honeycomb this another door or something. This has taken me f uh, not even that long, I'm not even going to lie to you, not that long to farm. There's so many nodes around here and it's been relatively quiet. The snow, you all as a solo player. While it's annoying as sin to live in, no one really comes and chills about around here. So yeah, refinery there. I might put some drop boxes or something up here, I'm not quite sure yet, haven't decided. Then you come out here, little 
chug you through here and this takes you to outside. So yeah, I'm gonna go hit a few more barrels, one last head out. I'm pretty much almost at the scrap that I need for the workbench. I need like 100, 100 and a bit. So I'm gonna go hit some barrels and stuff and we'll build up. And yeah, we can get that level two bench down before the end of today's episode. Fuck. Is he gonna pull a gun on me? Ah, how? G to the G's. Okay, I can see somebody building a humongous little structure over here. Humongous little. Look at it. There he is. There he is. Unsuspectedly doesn't think anybody built out here in the snow. You're wrong, sir. I think maybe he's building like a harbour? I don't really know. He's got resources though, he could be stacked. This could be the come up we needed, boys. I could shoot from here. If he jumps in the water though, don't you lock that TC, sir. We got the headshot. He can take his boat wherever he wants to take it. Out you pop, kid. This is my land now. Whew. I thought I'd fucked it, I won't lie to you. Oh, he's not got any food. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And nothing in the TC. Alright, he didn't actually have a lot. He's invested it all into whatever the hell this is. Boat base, maybe? Who knows? I want to key lock his TC because he lives pretty close to me, but at the same time, I don't. I think that's a bit that's a bit mean. That's a bit harsh. God, I am cold, actually. Just going to warm up by his campfire before I head home. Okie dokie, you're already chokies. Let's get the level 2 bench down. I don't want to faff about destroying this just in case I can't place the level 2 now that the TC and stuff's there. So I'm just going to put it there. It's easy enough anyway. But I think that's going to end today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a weird one. We're sort of more building aspects of this awesomely cool base. And then next episode, we're going to expand it some more. I'm really excited. I need to throw like a load of doors on and stuff. And But that level 2 bench means we can proper push on guns, armor and stuff. I'm sure I have got guns. I've got ammo. I have the semi rifle. I've got the AK from Last White, which is dope. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be lit this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, a good, great freaking week. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. If you are on the bench about subscribing, I hope you've enjoyed today. Check out some of my other videos. I will catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. Peace out.